in this example, we look at um, a very, very generic case. And the random vector X here, in this case, has just two components. So we are looking at a specific case, um, quite similar to what we have done previously. But uh, here, uh, X1 and X2 are not necessarily IID. So we, we don't have uh, a restriction on the distribution of X1 and X2, nor their joint distribution. They might be independent. They might not be independent. They might have the same distribution or not. Doesn't really matter for the result in this slide. We just define random variable y as the sum of x1 and x2. And we, we define random variable z as their difference. We will look at the statistics of y and z. Uh, well, no need to really look at the expectations because expected value of y is the sum of uh, expected values of x, the components, and expected value of z is also the difference. That's trivial. We'll just uh, look at the variances. Obviously, as we have seen, the transformation here can be written as 1, 1 times random ve vector x, and z equals 1 minus 1 times random vector x. And random vector x here, of course, is column vector consisting of x1 and x2. Now, to obtain the variance of y, this is the transformation matrix, this is the transpose of the transformation matrix, and this here, naturally, is the covariance matrix of x. You see on the diagonals, I have the variances of x1 and x2, and in the off-diagonal, I have the covariance and since this is just a two-dimensional random vector, I have just the covariance of x1 and x2. And uh, if you take this multiplication, essentially multiplying um, a, a square matrix by, uh, by a vector of ones from left and from right will give you the sum of all components of that matrix. Therefore, the variance of y turns out to be the sum of the variance of x1, the variance of x2, and two times the covariance of x1 and x2. This two multiplier comes from this observation. You have two covariances in the matrix, um, that therefore it, the covariance of x1 and x2 appears twice in this sum. So you can in fact write this as, uh, if, you, if you actually, by convention, if you define the covariance of uh, x and x by itself as the variance of x, you can in fact write this as the sum i from 1 uh, to 2 and j from 1 to 2 of covariance xi, xj. Okay, so here you will have four terms. One of them is covariance x1, x1, which is the variance of x1. Uh, another one is covariance x2, x2, which is in fact the variance of x2. And the two other terms are covariance of x1, x2, and covariance of x2, x1, which are equal to each other. Very similarly, if you look at the variance of C, this is the transformation matrix. This is its transpose, and this is also the covariance matrix of x. When you arrange the terms, the only difference from y here is this term here, obviously, and that brings this negative sign here. So the, the variance of C is equal to variance of X1 plus variance of X2 minus two times the covariance between X1 and X2. Okay. Now, what if I would like to find the covariance between Y and Z? Okay. Uh, in this case, you can, in fact, define um, random vector y and z, right? Random vector y and z can be written as the linear transformation 1, 1, 1, minus 1 times x1, x2, right? If you look uh, to this expression and if you expand it, you will see that uh, y equals x1 times uh, x1 plus x2 and z equals x1 minus x2. Simple as that. Now we have the transformation matrix 1, 1, 1, minus 1. So 
to write the covariance matrix of this random vector, I have it here. I just have the transformation matrix here and the transpose of that matrix here. And here I have the covariance of X, covariance matrix of X. Now, this uh, covariance matrix here, of course, on the diagonals, it will have the variances which we have computed. Okay, um, if you if you just do this, uh, you will obtain the same results here. And in this off diagonal element, I will necessarily obtain the same value to this. Therefore, no need to do that separately. Essentially, when you obtain this product, you just look at this component here, uh, which you will find to be equal to variance of x1 minus the variance of x2.